Like he said, he said something to me one time a long time ago a at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me he'd take me shopping. With Fifth, he loves me. He loves me. Do y'all really can't have see a beef? It? I mean, y'all can't see. No, we can't see. Y'all can't man. see that he loves me. Yo, but why does it suck, man? This stuff behind the scenes that you don't know because that's what be agitating. That's wow, I told Happy died. You know, Pop Side, I put him in suits and and made them made them write lyrics for him and took all that publishing. And Additional evidence that Diddy is gay exists without a doubt. The internet may have revealed this time how Diddy coerced Biggie into conforming to his homosexual demands. What precisely is going on here? Keep reading to find out more. The media won't stop publicizing everything that seems to connect the rapper to the issue even more, despite the fact that Diddy hasn't acknowledged or disputed the homophobia claims that have been made about him for years. Did you realize that Diddy had been openly outed as gay before we got into Biggie's business? In fact, it's likely that Diddy purposefully dropped some far too obvious signals. On Blood Orange's Hope, the rapper apparently disclosed his sexual orientation to the whole audience. At the end of the video, when a pair of men are seen strolling hand in hand with a number of other men, Diddy raps. Sometimes I ask myself like, you know, what is it going to take for me to not be afraid? I want to be loved the way I really want to be loved, but I'm terrified to really truly feel that way because I know how I really want to be loved. It's kind of like wanting something but not knowing if you can handle it. The music mobile said maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. Diddy also appeared to have had a melancholy sexuality related moment in the studio. Diddy calling another man daddy in a 2017 video that has just surfaced online feeds online speculations about the rapper's sexual orientation. Later on, according to the Bad Boy Records founder, he and Fabulous didn't actually go out drinking together. We previously celebrated my birthday with a party. You came to my party, Fab remarked, puzzled. The drunken interview featured Diddy's 50 cent tirade. He says to Fabulous, we need to go out and party. What do you mean by that? When people say that to me, it makes me feel a little anxious. Later, Diddy stated in an interview with The Breakfast Club, he said something to me at Chris Lighty's wedding a long time ago. He stated that he would take me shopping. I asked him, what'd you just say? While I continued to look at the G-Unit star. Now, may I move? Man, before I do anything, you're going to make me wreck the wedding. But a male doesn't say it to a girl. It seems Curtis 50 Cent seen Diddy Combs is still talking about Jackson's defamation. Recently, 50 was questioned over his previous comments on the purported sexual orientation of a music mogul. Uncle Fizz then retorted. He says things. He isn't even a- The well-known rapper 50 Cent has continuously called P. Diddy gay throughout their conflict. In a 2018 interview with The Breakfast Club, 50 Cent discusses Diddy without being aware of how fruity his remarks are. Years of abuse around the LGBTQ allegations have been experienced by Diddy, but he has never verified or denied them. There is yet more, though. Zebit revealed in 2009 that Diddy had only ever taken him to a homosexual bar once. When he learned what kind of club it was, he fled in awe. We leave the club without delay. I didn't share my piece with anyone. It was suspicious, he said. Diddy reportedly shocked everyone by suddenly admitting that he had accidentally slept with Usher. Cian Combs, who was then known as Puff Daddy, was trusted to be Usher's mentor when he was originally signed to Left Face Records as a youngster. Usher moved to New York at the age of 14 to work with Combs, popularly known as Diddy. Usher reportedly received a benefit from Diddy by being invited to his lavish events. I'm not saying Puff was wrong, though. Even though my debut album wasn't my most well-liked, it laid the groundwork for my 18-year career. Working with Justin has made it simpler for me to realize the value of having a mentor. You must keep making music relevant. Alan Reed, the CEO of Left Face Records, claimed that he nearly let a young usher quit the label but Diddy convinced him to stay. When he spoke in that manner, I wanted to throw the man. I wanted to cut off our business ties. I really wounded him. I broke his mother's heart. Then was an extremely tough moment in both of our lives. Don't be a fool, someone then said to me, he said. Keep your Usher stock intact. He will keep on being famous. He meets every need you had when you hired him. That person was Diddy. Diddy might have unwittingly confessed to having slept with Usher in an interview. 
The revelation is not as stunning as it previously was because there have long been claims that Diddy is gay. The website has previously stated that Diddy was the subject of a federal drug investigation because to allegations that he had sexual contact with children. One of the young men with whom Diddy allegedly had an affair was Usher, an adult artist, according to an insider and those in the entertainment industry. When Usher was a little boy and Diddy was a producer in his 20 ES, it was rumored that the two often slept together in New York. In the 1990s Usher, then 15 years old, spent a few months living in Diddy's house in order to develop a more street-savvy attitude and sound for his music. Since then, Usher has engaged in numerous unhealthy relationships. In two recent photos, Diddy is seen riding or mounting men and smiling or laughing, which has caused many on social media to assume that he is gay or bisexual. The R&B bad boy Chris Brown's most recent album was also a commercial success. The evaluation of Breezy's performance was a component of a larger evaluation of Brown's career. Orlando got off track and started talking about having sex with Diddy. Thanks Diddy for the was gosh mule meat. He started at the four minute mark, but I cherished it. Ravenstar licked his lips and gazed seductively into the camera for almost a minute as he screamed about the alleged oral connection. The interviewer was unfazed by Orlando's wrath and instantly changed the subject to music while Rolando was calming down. Others who have watched Biggie's career have hypothesized that Diddy may have had some sort of influence. Sexual orientation and health. The fact that Biggie wrote raps endorsing homosexuality is tough to ignore. Big E I G famously remarked, You look so good, I'll suck on your dad's part. That was said in a homophobic manner. He makes reference of his desire for a particular woman as well as his plans to kill her father. Biggie was a boss, thus it didn't matter if you liked him or his music to him nonetheless. That is not the major subject of this investigation. But there's more. It's probable that Diddy wasn't the only person responsible for Biggie's bigotry. Songwriter Dream Hampton explained the situation when she talked about Man, Biggie's best friend, coming out as gay on her Twitter page. The tweets from Dream Hampton suggest that Biggie was aware of Man's sexuality, but didn't care. The image on the right shows Big and Man on the day they first met while playing dice in Brooklyn. I remember Big telling me that the black dude had brought his boyfriend to the avenue while we were in Los Angeles a few weeks before Dad passed away. According to Hampton, when she asked him how he would respond to it, he responded, That's my nigga. Let's have a look at what the supporters have to say, whatever the situation. Success in real life, one person wrote. Biggie was an amazing storyteller. That I'll give him. His stories were plausible, but you created him. He was a manufactured good. My father simply replied that Biggie wasn't down that way and that Diddy was gay. Another fan reacted. That's why he killed him, actually. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.